Hello everyone. Now let's discuss about embryo biopsy. It is the process of selecting the best embryo produced during IVF or XC cycle and screening for genetic disease and chromosomal disorders before being transferred into the woman's uterus. It gives us a complete imp information about the embryo health and also selecting the best embryo for a successful pregnancy. Day 5 embryo biopsy is usually preferred as we will have more cells for testing using the NGS method and mosaicism cannot be missed. Very few trophectodon cells are removed from the blastocyst without disturbing the inner cell mass using the laser technique and it is sent for genetic testing. Now let's discuss about the benefits of embryo biopsy. It increases the chances for successful pregnancy. It also reduces the chances of miscarriage. It reduces your time to achieve pregnancy, helps in single embryo transfer. It also prevents the birth of defective babies and it also helps in couple with structural rearrangements. Now, the embryo biopsy is recommended for couples who have SR, which is benefit for patients with translocations, inversions and deletions. The last one is PGTM which is used to detect known inherited genetic disorders. We at Prashant Fertility Research Center have done around 75 cases of PGTA. Out of this our pregnancy rate is 98%. Hope this video is useful for you. Thank you. I have added one more feather to a cap at Prashant Fertility Research Center by introducing a latest technology called NICS. It is non-invasive chromosomal screening. It is also a type of PGTA. It is performed on a cell-free DNA released by the embryos into the spent culture medium without disturbing the embryo. Day 5 is preferred as it lowers the chances of test failure. More number of cells are available for analysis and mosaicism can be detected. This is still in validation stage. Once validated, this is going to be the future of embryo biopsy as there is no damage to the embryos and embryos are safe. We at Prashant Hospitals have done 8 cases of combined PGTA and NICS results and we have found that 78.2% of the embryo are in concordance with PGTA results. Thank you.